I told him to drop this one already. 18 times I said drop it. Listen to Trump on the Savage Show. Can you take it down from my website? It's been up for three weeks. He's overexposed. I mean, I'm for him, but it's enough already. Take it off my website. Then there's some religious symbolism I've had up for a month. Drop it. I need to upgrade my entire website. Iran discovers high reserves of uranium. Why is that buried on page two? That should be page one. The day after the con man in the White House said that Iran is not on the road to a nuclear weapon, they have no uranium of their own. Federation of American Scientists, no uranium of their own. Carnegie Institute for Lies, no, no uranium of their own. The, oh, whoops, we have uranium. Okay, let's go to the callers. Ren on WMAL in Washington, D.C., what's on your mind? Well, I just, for ages, of tried to put a voice to old major, and I finally found it. It's Bernie Sanders. Okay, well, tell people who old major is. Old Major was the beginning of uh, the uh, downfall of Animal Farm. <laughs> yeah, but you have to you have to explain who Old Major was. Oh, he what was what the big fat no, you, pig. <laughs> I know you're the one who made the analogy, not me. You're asking me now. I don't remember who he was. Well, yeah, you do, but. He was a big fat pig that told everybody that they were being mistreated. And there you go. Okay, that's Bernie Sanders, right? Correct. Bernie Sanders is born for NPR. The only thing he's fit for is to be a spokesman, a radio host on a national public radio paid for by public funds while putting down the rich. The second thing Bernie Sanders is fit for to be a college teacher in Burlington, Vermont, teaching uh, a poli sci 101. Do capitalism was an exploitive economic system invented by the rich white male to exploit the Indian and the black man. The only true system of equality is pure Marxism as practiced by Fidel uh, and Raul Castro. As you know, that works out very well for the Cuban people. They're happy people. They play chess all day in checkers. They drive 1950s cars. They uh, hook their daughters off in hotels for the foreign exchange. That is the perfect system in Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. And the only reason that uh, the Soviet Union collapsed was not because the socialism failed, but because capitalism didn't let it succeed. This is true. And that's why when I'm president, I raise taxes on the rich to 140%. I want all the immigrants that want to come from Syria to come in. We want to build them houses. We have Jimmy Carter oversee it with uh, some kind of building program. All the Mexicans who want to be here, they're all welcome. I want all the Muslims from around the world to feel safe here, not hated by the Christian people. The only people I would have looked at by the FBI would be churches. Oh, you get the picture. I'm finished with the Bernie Sanders imitations. Now it's your turn on the Savage Nation. I've given you 10 other subjects. I want to go back to one that really intrigued me, but I, I'm going to... Where's this one about um, yes, the coup, the military coup? You won't believe this. A professor at West Point just asked the question. He said, what would happen if a coup occurred in America? He did it two weeks ago. They forced him out of West Point. He couldn't even ask the question. They purged them. So this uh, site, YouGov, polled 1,000 American voters on their opinion of the military and whether or not they would support a military takeover. And the results were very shocking. In a new survey by YouGov, 29% of respondents said they could imagine a situation in which they would support the military taking control of the federal government. That translates into 70 million American adults. 41% of respondents said they could not imagine supporting the military taking over the country. Republicans, 43%, were more likely to say they could envision a scenario in which they could support a military coup than Democrats, 20%. According to the same survey, almost three quarters, 17 respondents believe that military officers want what is best for the country, while only 29% think the same of members of Congress. Pretty interesting. Oh, here we go. Oh, you want to talk about that? The Constitution allows for military and civilian coups, you know, by the way. But we won't go into that. 
Some people would support it, some wouldn't. Uh, I'm not so sure I have faith in this military, though. That's the problem. It's like, which military are you talking about? The imagined military or the real military? The, uh, the contractors who are running the military, that's who you want to conduct the coup? What are you talking about? Where, where's this imaginary military that's patriotic? Where did it go? Who, which military are you talking about? The military that's been installed by Obama? I mean, you want to trust the military when the military-industrial complex is the main source of many of our problems? The government has been conquered. We know that. So, yeah, I have respect for military officers, but not the ones that Obama's made into Potemkin soldiers. You looked at who he's made into captains and up. Have you seen what he's done to the military, what he's done to the Green Berets, what he's done to the Navy SEALs, what he's doing to the most elite corps? Have you seen what this, this retrovirus has done? All right. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's an interesting topic. I don't know if you want to talk about it. It's a little risky here. It's only the first day of the new Jewish year, 5776, uh, 5,776 years already. And uh, the question is, will Israel survive another 24 years with Obama? We've got almost two years to go. Iran said Israel won't survive 25 years. And with Obama's a little help from their friends, you know, they get by with a little help from their friends. They get high with a little help from their friends. They get, uh, they get nukes with a little help from their friends. Well, come back and play the Beatles. I get high with the help of my friends. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Income inequality. That's how a schmuck like me could rise so high. Because I know exactly what the average moron responds to. I'm not such a schmuck as they say. Look how I got all these kids cheering for me. That's why when I become president, who make certain that there's pot in every chicken. They're going to be forced to take pot when they're young. Then we'll have more idiots to vote for more people like me. Hillary imploding support below 50%. Is it fifth still below, still up there? Women still support her because she's a woman? That really says a lot for women that they vote for a person like her just because she's not a man. That really says a lot for women. 855 if you want to join the program. Bernie Sanders. There's something to talk about. He's entertaining. We got him out of the, the, the freak show in the back of Ringling Brothers because the main event hasn't started yet. The crowd's still filtering into the arena. They're like six people. Do you realize how many people are not interested in the election of 2016? Think of this as a circus, and it's a circus tent. The show isn't starting for a year and like three months. And there's nobody in the arena. The tent is empty. There's a light bulb on. One light bulb, and there's Bernie Sanders in it, standing under the light bulb. The wonder he's attracting attention. The mice would vote for him right now. It's a savage nation. I, I hope you've enjoyed your time with me. If not, you're a very sad person. <laughs> I'll be back for another hour. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Blue Monday, how I eat Blue Monday. Got to work, plan to sleep all day. Here come Tuesday, here come Wednesday, it's The Savage Nation. It is the savage nation. So Hillary's below 50, losing support amongst mainly white women, her primary constituency. Apparently they woke up from their mahjong, whatever they, I don't know, no one plays that anymore. They woke up from the uh, soap operas, like the real wives of Tehran. Reaching across partisan lines. Imagine that candidate, candidate Sanders is surging. 
and he's preaching a straight out Marxist uh, line, and on a you never saw anyone as uh, unappealing as him. A filthy suit, needs a haircut. Apparently, there's support for that amongst the slackers. That's their idea of a gentleman who should look like that. A dirty suit needing a haircut with a tuna stain on the shirt. A soup stain on his tie. He looks authentic. I guess their fathers look like this, the slackers. So identify with them. But on all, look where he goes to Liberty University. Why would they let this schmuck speak there? It was founded by Jerry Falwell. Christian University let this anti-Christian communist speak there? In the middle of a speech today, he talks about the massive injustice of income and wealth inequality. What does that mean? Tell me what that actually means. What, we stole it from somebody, those of us who have something? What a massive income and wealth inequality. Who is he raising his money from? That's number two. In his speech at Liberty University, he believes in women's rights and gay marriage, drawing only tepid applause in the 10,000-seat Vine Center. Then he went on to the Christian college audience with other stuff. He calls himself a democratic socialist. You know what that is a code word for. 110% taxes. Then he says, let's get to the religion part. Santa said he was far from a perfect human being. I want to get this sound. I got, I'm far from a perfect human being. But he says he was motivated by the vision of the religious teachings of Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and Buddhism. I would say that's fence-sitting. He's for everything. The senator was raised in a Jewish family. Yeah, right. And is non-observant. What does that mean, Jewish family non-observant? He was a communist. Descended from Jews. What is that? He was raised in a Jewish family. I, what was the father? A rabbi? The senator was raised in a Jewish family and is non-observant. But his campaign said he planned to stop at a Rosh Hashanah gathering Monday at the home of Michael Gillette, Lynchburg's mayor. What's he stopping there for if he doesn't believe in religion? Pick up a few, a few shekels there from the rich? Then he went on to the book of Amos, blah, blah, blah. So during a question and answer session, the student body erupted when Liberty Senior Vice President David Nasser noted that many students felt children in the womb need our protection. Sanders acknowledged it was an area where we disagree. So he's for, he's for uh, uh, aborting babies uh, as late as, what, 25 years old? It's an area where we disagree, but it said it was a painful and difficult decision that should not be made by the government. No, let him sell baby body parts, Bernie. You're very compassionate. Why would they invite this lunatic there? This is what liberalism has become. I'm glad they invited him, but I wouldn't vote for him. said Nathan White, a junior from Houston. White said he opposed gay marriage and abortion rights and described himself as a capitalist. Ooh, he's not invited to the University of California. Oh, let's see, Bernie just unveiled his new camp. <laughs> I read that Bernie just unveiled his new campaign slogan. Want to be Greece? Vote Bernie Sanders in 2016. <laughs> Someone wrote this. He is telling the white Christian kids to go to work. Somebody has to pay the taxes. Mm. What's his net worth, by the way? I'm sure it's very low. He never made much money as a, as a senator. He's too stupid to have invested wisely. What would he have invested in, Bernie Sanders? I mean, it's probably nothing. Unbelievable. Why did anyone vote for this character? Service and maybe he wants everyone who's rich take to take a service industry job. I can't believe what's going on. The country's being overrun by an invasion unseen in human history from Mexico and Central America. Now we're being inundated with Muslims from Syria, and this schmuck's talking about income inequality, and that's what they want to hear. This is beyond belief. This is what this country has descended to. Let me go to the religion part. That bothers me. None observant. It's a nice way of saying he's an atheist. What do you mean, not observant? What is he not observing? What do you mean? He says, raised from a Jewish family. Said he was raised in a Jewish family and is not observant. What is he not observant of? Robert, can you figure that? What is he not observant of? What, the Bible, God, the Jewish laws, the Jewish people, the Jewish religion? What is he not observant of? What doesn't he observe? He, sorry, he's observant of Marxism. That he steeped himself in. Steep himself in that, right down to the to the dirty suit. And this is the soup stain top. <laughs> I love it. I mean, this is what makes America so wonderful. The people are so stupid. They take a dyed-in-the-wool loser like this and turn him into a candidate. 
But in a way, he's better than Hillary. At least he's naked. He's Hillary in a dirty suit. 